Recently, my attention has been drawn to a consultation being held by Transport for London on a new project. This is a consultation on a new extension of the Docklands Light Railway through Beckton Riverside to Thamesmead. Now, I dare say that anyone familiar with the history of Thamesmead will be saying, about time. So, a bit of context. Thamesmead was built between the late 60s and the early 70s as a new suburb in south-east London. It was intended to be a self-contained community with good transport links. It didn't work out like that. The planned shops, offices, industrial parks and so on didn't materialise. Nor did the transport links. The budget was cut back to the point where, basically, it was just an enormous housing estate. For residents who didn't own a car, they were reliant on a rather poor bus service. There have been several proposals for rail connections, ranging from light rail to another Jubilee Line extension, but nothing has come to pass. Thamesmead is undergoing redevelopment at the moment, including a new area known as Thamesmead Waterfront, and the number of new homes is only legally allowable if there is an adequate transport connection. Shame people didn't think like that in the 60s, really. Beckton Riverside is a planned new suburb built on land formerly occupied by the extensive gas works here. There's honestly not much else to say about this at the moment. I've looked at the various council websites relating to this, and as far as I can tell, they've surveyed local residents who have said that what they would like is a nice place with nice things in it. However, it's also to have 38,000 new homes, which, once again, requires a rail link, by law. The plan, according to this handy little map produced by TFL, is to build the extension off the Beckton branch. There would be a new station at Beckton Riverside. Then the line would cross the river and terminate in Thamesmead. The type of crossing is not specified here, but it's probably going to be a tunnel. Having spoken to one of the engineering chaps at Barking Riverside, I can tell you that any bridge over the river would have to be very high indeed in order to allow shipping to pass underneath. Beyond Thamesmead, the option is possibly to be left open to extend in the future. There are a number of other options that have been considered that I think are also very interesting, and are also on a map on the website. There were other routes by which the DLR might have got to Thamesmead. One would have involved a new line running from the existing terminus at Woolwich Arsenal. And to be honest, if you'd asked me which I thought was most likely, that would have been the one I put money on. Another would have gone beyond Thamesmead to Belvedere. And a third would have connected with the Elizabeth line at Abbey Wood. An alternative to the Woolwich Arsenal plan would have been to branch off on the other side of the river at King George V. Now, the Woolwich Arsenal or King George V options would have not served Beckton Riverside, which would have been considered unacceptable, but the Woolwich option would have required an expensive tunnel to be dug under the town. Now, obviously there is also an even more expensive tunnel in the river crossing option, but that is more economically justifiable, being as how it would serve two major new developments. The Belvedere and Abbey Wood options were abandoned because it was thought that the DLR service would actually be less useful than the existing rail services. Extending the overground from Barking Riverside was another proposal given serious consideration, and the proposals included a line through Thamesmead to terminate at Woolwich Arsenal, Abbey Wood or Belvedere, per the DLR suggestions. Now, in addition to the same problems that the DLR extensions would have, the overground adds some new ones. The DLR is light rail, the overground is heavy rail. It needs heavier engineering, larger tunnels, wider curves and gentler gradients. There's also the problem that it's not really possible to get it over the river as it stands. There isn't space to get it either onto a sufficiently high bridge or to get it into a tunnel. Unless they either build a new line that bypasses the current Barking Riverside station or just straight up demolish a line that's only been open a couple of years. TFL also state that they could only operate four trains an hour, which isn't really adequate for the kinds of communities planned. One idea I like, but which is rather impractical, is a tram similar to the one that serves Croydon. This would run from Abbey Wood to Thamesmead, and possibly under the river to Beckton. The river extension wouldn't offer many advantages over the DLR in cost terms. However, not building that extension, though cheap, would result in a somewhat limited service. 
In either case, a tram probably wouldn't have the necessary capacity. It would also be something of a pain for passengers to have to change. I believe the term is insufficient connectivity. The final option, undoubtedly the cheapest, is to improve the buses. Once again though, there are the questions of connectivity and capacity. Buses are also subject to traffic jams, which of course trains are not. Apparently though, it's not an either-or thing, and improvements to buses are also under consideration alongside the rail options. So, balancing questions of cost versus economic justification, capacity and connectivity, the DLR comes out on top. Anyway, as I say, TFL is consulting on this until the 18th of March, and I'll put a link in the description below if you want to make your opinions known. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please do leave a like and consider subscribing for more. I would like to thank my donors on Ko-fi, on Patreon, and here on YouTube for your support. You are the tunnel to my tram. And I'll see you all again very soon. Cheerio.